That's pretty well played. He only really tried to escape there. I don't think he entertained the idea of potting that red at all. Shake it head from Barry. I don't think this is a particularly easy shot to get up the table from. Reds in all directions. And they're kind of covering each other. You always look for a, a red you can play thin and swing the cue ball back down behind the bulk line. But it, there doesn't seem to be anything easy. we have seen from Barry this week is when no safety shot is available he's gone for a pot which is a pretty good way to be this time he just might have found one little route up the table no nope. plenty of trouble there for sure if he can't escape not many can Eight. Played that well in behind the red. Certainly an appreciative audience here, as you saw there. Plenty in for this session, and there'll be quite a few in tonight as well. Let's see whoever lifts 13. the Alex Higgins trophy. Yeah, they want to see, I'm sure, a close match. It was 5-1 to one with sponsors Coral for it to go to a deciding frame at start of play. They're playing for, as Neil says, this Waterford Crystal Alex Higgins trophy. That would uh, look great on any mantelpiece. He wasn't ideal on the blue, hence he left himself this red Marking from 90. mid range, which is now missed. Missed, has to be said, by quite a bit.
Barry could win this frame. He really is on his way to winning, I would say. Plenty of work to be done, but of, of course, he's at the table and he's got three reds. Fairly open play. Saying that Ten. really depends where that, uh, where that ping has gone, whether he can get to those two. Well, he's played what looks to be high on the pink, so that could disturb the other two reds. Good shot. Stretching, though, as you can see, put the extension on the cue. He doesn't look very comfortable on it. for him pushing one of the reds a little safe. 17. 18. think would be coming to an end here it's probably as well to just if you're going to play a safety shot play off the black chip it out into the middle of the table because he needs it more than mark king are they all consenting Played it. But of course, with safety in mind. Cuba was always going to come up and down the table safe. He certainly never put his hand up to apologise. Now we're getting the yellow onto a cushion. That's something that could help him Marking later on in the one. frame. there when that cue ball didn't drop in maybe he feels that one or two little nudges have gone against him in the last couple of frames he could pop this red but it's a long way away well if that had gone in he would have felt really cursed as it happened it's okay and it couldn't really have turned out a lot better onto the blue no, he would have been very, very unlucky. But as you say, it's worked out well. So a chance to pull one back here. This blue to lead by 33. 43 on. Red and a big colour, as you see. Snooker's required. He really needs this frame, doesn't it? Sets up a fascinating last frame of the afternoon. Seven. Because 5-3, he'd feel he was very much in contention. At 5-1, there's always the dread prospect of 7-1 and then it really is tough but 5-3 still very much anyone's
Well, Hawkins is going to get his chance to play for the two snookers. 40. King not happy that he didn't get on the red, but he's in a strong position here. Marking 40. That was a pretty close cool shot, though, wasn't it, to leave the possibility of getting in behind the, the black. Oh. Oh, well, doesn't matter now, I don't think. Marking seven and Frank. No, he caught the black, so Mark King has pulled a frame back with one to play in the opening session of this Northern Ireland Open final. Barry Hawkins now leading in Belfast by five frames to two.